Okay, let's try this again. This is about the third time doing the video. So, this is going to be my setup for next year. Um, the first few pages are just what I want to do uh, some self improvement things for the upcoming year, and then we're into January. So, I want to show you just now because, like everybody, the next couple of weeks are going to be really busy. So, we have here some inspirational quotes. For 2017, year's end is neither an end or a beginning, but a going on with all the wisdom that experience can instill in us. And we have a new year is on the way, and the possibilities are endless. And this, you can see I'm going to be quite optimistic for the coming year. This is 2018. Tomorrow is the first blank page of a 365 page book. Write a good one. I really like that one. And cheers to another year and another chance to get it right. Then we go into this 2018 goals, which I have to fill in, as you can obviously see. Uh, this is 101 things to do in 2018. This is not necessarily goals like the page. This is just, you know, little things to do, like uh, number one is change hairstyle because I'm kind of sick of my hair. And then I've used these notebook pages and just put them in. You'll see a lot of this in January as well because I've got a notebook, sticky notes, a little pad, notepad and um, a shopping list and I've just used pages from all of them just to, you know, kind of make up some extra space. So, I'll turn the page. This is what, how I currently spend my time and there's a little pie chart and this is like work and writing. Fun is this little bit here. So this is how I want to spend my time, and that's writing is a big chunk. You can see there's no longer work because I would like my writing to be able to pay my bills. And then fun is obviously a little bit extra there. Now these are events for 2018. This is for the whole year, so throughout the year I can just fill that in to whatever comes up. Actually, I've got a concert, so we're going to a Stone Sour concert in June. I need to put that in. This here is for self-improvement and this will take a while. This is by a lady called, um, I think it's Flora Sage, I got this. It's got it a while back and I've never used it. And basically you question everything that you do, all your routines, the way you dress, the what you eat, how you brush your teeth, everything like that. Um, you know, if it's just... A habit that's formed but it no longer works for you sort of thing and um, so this is so there's like three four pages here and uh, you just work through it and it, you do have to be very honest with yourself and uh, I will be filling that out in a separate journal but these are the things to work on then I just have some blank pages there, but I'm not sure what to do. This is before we get into January. Should maybe do a January spread, that's what to do in there. I'm going to have to figure out what to do for January though. Uh, this will be where I'll put the calendar. I'm thinking of doing it um, vertical instead of horizontal, just because it's easier to look at. This is my four quadrant spread that I've done before. Work, personal, craft and journals. Uh, this is week one and week two, and this will just put the little journaling bit there and maybe some notes there. And this is just a little bit of, this is a shopping list paper, and I've just put that in there just as a little extra writing space. These are because I want to add in more of my spiritual stuff. Um, I am a pagan, and I'm interested in druidry. So I'm studying a lot of trees and flowers and things like that. A lot of nature stuff. Uh, but these are the correspondences for that. So we've got herbs and colours, stones, uh, animals, animals, birds, trees. All that. And these are like the sticky notes from that are sent to that page and other bits and pieces. That's the notepad I've just stuck in a page there. So these are January correspondences. Um, and this is for reading and notes, so that'll be what I read that month, another little extra scrap bit. YouTube ideas for, I've got 
with my main two channels for my personal side, I do have a writing channel which I will be probably focused on a lot more but I don't want to neglect these ones either. So this is Journal Dragon which will be this channel and Midnight Grove is my over my craft which I do my sculpting and things like that. And I definitely want to get back into that as well. And there's just a little ideas. And then we have week three into week four with another little scrap bit. Um, this one, I'm not sure what to do with this one, but it has, um, I did think of something there, I then promptly forgot, <laughs> we'll put that in, I just another scrap bit. And then these are morning pages and shadow work, I don't know how well these will show up on the camera, but um, I can see them quite well. Morning pages is something Julia Cameron did uh, in a book called The Artist's Way. <clears throat> and it was to try and, you know, if your, your creativity is feeling blocked, um, morning pages are sort of a stream of consciousness writing. You just basically start writing and see where it goes. Um, shadow work is more, you concentrate on maybe the more negative aspects of your personality or negative traits. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be bad things like, uh, what I've been working on lately is my procrastination. I know I want to be a writer and that's what I'd like to do, but I will find every excuse not to actually sit down and do the writing. I will, um, I will say I'm researching or I need to outline the story a bit better or I need to find out this, that or the next thing. Any excuse not to actually sit down and do it. And um, yeah, so my shadow work, I've been working on the reasons I might be doing that. You know, um, is it because I'm afraid of ridicule um, or afraid I'm not good enough? Is it because of this reason, that reason? That's sort of what shadow work, you're just working through why you do certain, not necessarily self-destructive, but to sabotage yourself really. So as to give yourself a more, a better understanding of yourself. And like I say, this year I want to do a lot of self-improvement and it's like a complete overhaul of everything. And that includes, you know, the mental and emotional side as well. So this is my last page and this is the OM calendar, which is the Celtic tree calendar. So for this month of January, um, it's birch. So we just have little bits and pieces of correspondences, some folk medicine lore, um, the, and you know other little kind of crafty things, you know like, <laughs> what is this one? You know, you know writing on the bark because the birch is such a paper thin bark that will peel off. You can write a promise or a wish on that piece of bark. Keep it secret and that will fulfil your wish. You know, little things like that which I find interesting. So I did all of that into there. And let's see, they just stuck this extra page in. And I will put a picture of the birch on that side when I find a nice one and also get ink in my printer. So that is my new year coming up and uh, into January. I'd hope I haven't bumped this table too much, I haven't noticed, I might have to end up doing this video again. But uh, yes, I hope everybody has a great Christmas and a wonderful new year. Okay, bye.